Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post effective workouts so we can sweat, sculpt, burn, and transform together. If you're new here, make sure you consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified on all of my latest news and workouts. Today's total body strength will be performed with medium dumbbells. I'll be using eight pounds for reference. I created this short workout to build upper body, lower body, and core strength all in just 15 minutes. Make sure to choose weights that challenge you, but also remember you can go lighter if your form becomes compromised. So let's grab those weights and get to our compound exercises. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my online fitness studio at embodiment360.com. I'm thrilled to offer a monthly subscription service where you can enjoy access to my entire video library, including a variety of workout lengths and styles from low impact cardio, dance and Pilates inspired sculpt, as well as strength and flexibility training. I'd love for you guys to come by and try out the studio with absolutely no commitment. Hope to sweat and sculpt with you all soon over at embodiment360.com. Starting in parallel, we inhale and exhale it out. Again, deep breath, inhale, plie those knees, bend, and then straighten. From here, reach overhead, standing crunch, plie to those knees. We take it, plie. Center, long reach over to your left. You've got the opposite way. Press big diagonal, reach, lean. So we're gonna repeat that sequence. Going left to right, standing crunch. Elbows pull into the thighs, and then reach into the ankle. Warming up through the core here. The legs, the arms. Press big stretch, reach, and lengthen. Take it eight, seven, big stretch. One last one. We've got a side to side lunge coming up. Left to right side lunge. Big sweep. And then come through center opposite way. Big sweep. Think of the arms as a half circle. And we reach overhead. Half circle. Push overhead. Big sweep. Lengthen. Drop those shoulders down away from the ears. And then big side step. Big side step out with that lateral lunge. Inhale. Exhale it out. Flowing motion through those arms. One last one. Beautiful. Go ahead and grab your medium weight. I've got my eight pounds today. Finding a second position. Plie. So we plie. Hammer curl. Down. And lift. So I want your chest nice and lifted here. Those knees are going into alignment with the second to third toe. Try not to dive your chest forward and the booty back. Think of your body going between two panes of glass here. And careful not to concave the knees inward. Keep those knees nice and open. If you need to, you can always go into more of a sumo squat with the toes at a 45 degree angle here. Beautiful work. Give me one last one. We're gonna take this into a hinged row. Pull the belly in and draw the weights to your hips. So we reach, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Long neck here, gaze that little 45 degree angle. And then those elbows are pinching up to the ceiling. Breathe, inhale, and then exhale it out. Slow and steady. Last two, last one going right away back into that second position. Upright row this time. So a little bit different variation with the arms. Breathe, working through the deltoids with that upright row. Again, keeping your chest nice and erect. Spine is nice and long here, showing you to the side. Breathe. So you don't want you to let your knees fall inward. Keep those knees. Pressing out over to the second to third toe. 
core is nice and engaged here. As we come into that upright row, think of pulling right up into the shoulder, right up into the armpit. Beautiful. From here, going into our row, tricep kick back. So we row and then we go tricep kick back. Stay with that tricep kick back. Drop the shoulders down and away. Nice long spine here. Now keep that 90 degree within the forearm and just moving the forearm here. Keep the elbow high up to the ceiling. Use that breathing. Core is turned on right away. We've got that core. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Press for four, three. We're gonna go right away into a lateral lunge over to your left. Frame out your front foot, bring the legs together, and then reach into a lateral raise. Step out, bring it together. Lateral raise. Take it out, together. Breathe. So that lateral raise, you can have a slight bend through the elbows. You could also go a little bit forward if you would like if that feels better within your shoulder, know that you can find modifications or adjustments to fit you and your body here. Last one right there. From here, we're gonna front rack into a parallel squat. And then as we straighten, we lengthen arms as well. So simultaneously bending and lengthening together. Breathe, bicep curl. Showing you to the side right here. So we sink the booty to the back. Core is braced, strong powerhouse. So we've got a strong powerhouse bracing to that core so that we can balance stronger. Our stability is stronger here. Slow and steady, breathe. One last one right there. Beautiful. Take it out to that lateral lunge. Press, frame out that foot. Now long arms out to the side body. You're gonna have that slight little bend through the elbows. Think of going to shoulder height. I'm gonna show you to the side with that lateral lunge, hinging from your waistband. Long arms here. Again, you can have that slight bend. Drop those shoulders. Inhale, exhale, breathe through it. I know that these are challenging. You've got it. Right here, we're gonna go into that front loaded parallel squat. Down for two, and then exhale, lengthen. Beautiful, those feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. Inhale for two. Lengthen it up for two. So nice, slow, steady, controlled manner and rhythm behind all of these strength movements. Being very mindful of the work that we do. Elbows pinched in to the rib cage here. Beautiful, inhale. Exhale it out. Give me one more, breathe through it. From here, we've got a bicep curl, cross, bicep curl, palm goes up, and now cross knee drive. Other way, bicep curl, palm goes up, and then cross knee drive. Repeat that sequence, cross body. Bicep curl. Exhale. So you're gonna drive the arm across the body, palm sweeping across. Really firing up to the core as we take that little torso twist. Breathe, exhale, press. Give me one more. We're going to go into a split lunge right here. So we've got a triple pulse, split lunge. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Now we're gonna take it to a kickstand deadlift. 
Squeeze the glutes, step it back again. Right leg, step back three times. Together, hinge it, try. So we take it, pulse, 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 right here. Kickstand, down for two. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Step, big step back. Little kickstand. So it's a little staggered stance. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Big step. Equal weight distribution in between those legs. Down. We lift and squeeze. Big step, two 90 degree angles in those legs. Down, two, lift. We've got that bicep curl on. Press, bicep curl. I was gonna say other side, but we alternate it. So we do have the split lunge on the opposite side after this exercise. That's it. Come across the body, bicep curl, core active. Use your breathing, it's going to be so vital for you to get better results and better form and alignment once you brace that core. Give you one last one right here. We're gonna go into that split lunge, we pulse. Two, three, step together. Kickstand, deadlift. Squeeze those glutes to the top. Go pulse. Big step. Breathe together. Take it down for two. Exhale, squeeze. So you're gonna hinge from the waist as we go into that staggered stance. Hinge, push the booty back. Slide the weight down the front of that chin right here. Push hips. Back, now squeeze, engage. Take it down, two big step. You've got it, take it down, slide, core, navel pulling in, drawing in, lift, press, squeeze, pulse, two, three, press it in, four, three. We're gonna take this into a hinge fly. Pull the belly in. Lift and squeeze, we take it up for two. Now what I want you to think of is squeezing those shoulder blades together. Think of going to a little diagonal, back and press. Think of a little back diagonal rather than directly to the side. We wanna get more of that back work. And down, press. So squeeze like you've got an orange between your shoulder blades and you want to make orange juice with the shoulder blades. Four, three, two, beautiful. Grab just one of those weights. From here, we're going to take this into a rear lunge tricep. You can tap in for a modification here. So showing you the modified version. If you want to elevate and go a little bit more challenge, you're gonna lift up that knee. Down for two, and exhale up for two. So we've got the elbows pressing forward, and then that knee driving into the chest, slow and steady. As you drop into that lunge, think of the weight going equally between both legs, and then driving through that front heel. Remember, you can always modify with that toe tap. Last one. Breathe. From here, we're gonna face to the front. We've got a squat. Squat press overhead, and then side attitude. Let's take it, squat, overhead press. Down, side attitude. Stay on this side. Exhale it out. Press. Breathe it. Down. Push it. Now I'm going quick with this because we've just got one weight. If you need to, lighten the load or maybe slow down the exercise if you need to. Press it. Breathe it. Reach. Four. Three. Two. Beautiful work. 
We've got the opposite side to do. With that rear lunge, reach overhead. Tricep extension. Now make sure that you're not arching your back and flaring at your ribs like this. Knit your ribs together. Pull the belly in. Big step. Option to intensify by adding that knee drive. Inhale. Exhale it out. Breathe. Inhale. And then we push. Drive. Inhale slow. Lift and lengthen. So strong balance. Make sure that you've got equal weight distribution between all four corners of the foot. Inhale. Exhale it out. Give me one last one right here. Breathe it. And press. We've got that plie squat. Plie squat side attitude. Plie squat side attitude. Down. Push. Breathe. Plie. Push it overhead. So it's a parallel squat, then punch overhead. Side attitude. Push overhead. Exhale as you engage the oblique. So we've got multi muscle groups working with these compound movements. I promised upper body, I promised lower body, and I promised core. We got it all. One last one. In full. Three, two. Beautiful. From here, let's just take a quick stretch. Quad stretch. Inhale, exhale. Breathe. Hold it. You can always hold on to a wall. Press. Hold and lengthen. Knees together for four, three, two. Opposite away. Heel comes to glute. Knees kiss together. Press the hips gently forward. Maybe you're holding onto that wall. Drop the shoulders down. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. In four, three, two. Last one. Take a breath. Inhale. And then exhale it out. Strong finish, friends. If you're looking for more upbeat, low-impact workouts like this, head on over to my online studio today at embodiment360.com, where I offer a variety of cardio, strength, and flexibility programs to keep you feeling your absolute best. Hope to see you in the online studio soon.